How to Win Friends and Influence People Part 1 Techniques in Handling People Principle 1 Don't criticise, condemn or complain. Instead of condemning people, let's try to understand them. Let's try to figure out why they do what they do. That's a lot more profitable and intriguing than criticism and it breeds sympathy, tolerance and kindness. Principle 2. Give sincere appreciation. Give honest, sincere appreciation. Be hearty in your approbation and lavish in your praise, and people will cherish your words and treasure. Principle 3. Arouse in the other person an eager want. Self-expression is the dominant necessity of human nature. When we have a brilliant idea, instead of making others think it is ours, why not let them cook and stir the idea themselves? They will then regard it as their own and work happily in it. Part 2 Six ways to make people like you if we want others to like us, if we want to develop real friendships, and if we want to help others at the same time as we help ourselves, keep this principle in mind. Principle 1. Become genuinely interested in other people. Principle 2. Smile. For nobody needs a smile so much as those who have none left to give. Principle 3. Remember that a person's name is to that person the sweetest and most important sound in any language. Principle 4. Be a good listener. Remember that people you are talking to are a hundred times more interested in themselves and their wants and problems than they are in you and your problems. Principle 5. Talk in terms of the other person's interests. If you're talking with someone interested in boats, talk about boats. If you're interviewing someone, study them and talk about their interests and goals. Talking in terms of the other person's interests pays off for both parties. Principle 6. Make the other person feel important and do it sincerely. Talk to people about themselves and they will listen for hours. Part 3. Win people to your way of thinking. Principle 1. Avoid arguments. The correct way to handle arguments if imposed on you is welcome the disagreement. Listen first. Don't be defensive. Look for areas of agreement. Try to look for areas where you can admit error, promise to think over your opponent's ideas and thank them for their interest. Still, to get the best of an argument is to avoid it. Principle 2. Never say you're wrong. Don't argue with your customer or your spouse or your adversary. Don't tell them they are wrong. Don't get them stirred up. Use a little diplomacy. Principle 3. If you are wrong, admit it quickly and emphatically. When we are wrong, and that will be surprisingly often, if we are honest with ourselves, let's admit our mistakes quickly and with enthusiasm. Principle 4. Begin in a friendly way. Friendly approach and appreciation is the best way to make people change their minds to your cause. Principle 5. Get the other person saying, yes, yes. When talking with someone, begin by emphasising and keep on emphasising the things on which you agree. When tempted to tell someone he is wrong, ask a gentle question, a question that will get the yes, yes response. Principle 6. Let the other person do the talking. Most people trying to win others to their way of thinking do too much talking themselves. 
let the other people talk themselves out, ask them questions, don't interrupt without any reason, be sincere in your reply, encourage them to express their ideas fully. Principle 7. Let them believe the idea is theirs. People have more faith in ideas that they discover for themselves than in ones handed to them. Don't try to ram your opinions down the throats of other people. Instead, make suggestions and let other people think about the conclusion. Principle 8. See from the other person's point of view. Put yourself in his place. Success in dealing with people depends on a sympathetic grasp of the other person's viewpoint. Principle 9. Be sympathetic with the other person's ideas and desires. Most people you meet want sympathy. Give it to them and they will love you. Principle 10. Appeal to the nobler motives. The person himself will think of the real reason. You don't need to emphasise that. But all of us, being idealists at heart, like to think of motives that sound good. So, to change people, appeal to the nobler motives. Principle 11. Dramatise your ideas. To be effective in convincing someone of our ideas, truth is not enough. And if we want someone's attention, we must submit the truth in a vivid and dramatic way. Principle 12. Throw a challenge. The way to get things done is to stimulate competition. That is what every successful person loves, the game. The chance for self-expression and to prove their worth, to excel and to win. Challenges utilise the desire to excel and to feel important. Part 4. Be a leader. How to change people without offending them. Principle 1. Begin with praise and honest appreciation. It is always easier to listen to unpleasant things after we have heard some praise of our good points. Principle 2. Call attention to mistakes indirectly. We're proud of you, Johnny, for raising your grades this term, and by continuing the same efforts next term, your algebra grade can be up with all the others. Notice the parent said and and not, but you should work on algebra. Calling attention to mistakes indirectly works better with sensitive people who would resent it when given any direct criticism. Principle 3. Talk about your own mistakes first. Admitting one's own mistakes can make a person more receptive and convince them to change their behaviour. Principle 4. Don't give direct orders. People are more likely to accept an order if they have had a part in the decision that caused the order to be issued. Principle 5. Let the other person save face. If we are definitely right and the other person is wrong, causing someone to lose face will only do harm and destroy the ego. Principle 6. Praise the slightest improvement and praise every improvement. Be hearty in your approbation and lavish in your praise. Principle 7. Give the other person a fine reputation to live up to. If you want to improve a person in a certain respect, act as though that particular trait were already one of his or her outstanding characteristics. Shakespeare said, Assume a virtue if you have it not. And it might be well to assume and state openly that other people have the virtue you want them to develop. Give them a fine reputation to live up to, and they will make prodigious efforts rather than see you disillusioned. Principle 8. Use encouragement. Make the fault seem easy to correct. 
Be liberal with your encouragement. Make the thing seem easy to do. Let the other person know that you have faith in their ability. Principle 9. Make the other person happy about doing the thing you suggest. Always make the other person happy about doing the thing you suggest. Here are some guidelines when you want to change someone's behaviour. 1. Do not promise anything that you cannot deliver. Forget about the benefits to yourself and concentrate on the benefits to the other person. 2. Know exactly what it is you want the other person to do. 3. Ask yourself what it is the other person really wants. 4. Consider the benefits that person will receive from doing what you suggest. 5. Match those benefits to the other person's wants. 6. When you make your request, put it in a form that will convey to the other person the idea that he personally will benefit. We really love bringing you these videos. If you want to help us create more useful content, please do subscribe to this channel and don't forget to ring the bell for brand new video.